Hey everybody, what's going on? Austin here, and today it's time for a brand new video. Today I'll be focusing entirely on how to maximize your settings with OBS in just five minutes. So first thing you wanna do is open up OBS and go to your file and then your settings page. You wanna to go to output and then go to the recording tab. And now you wanna take a look at these settings here. Make sure your output mode is set to advanced, not simple. You wanna go down to your recording format, make sure that's set to MP4. Audio tracks, that depends on you how many audio tracks you have. I usually have four, so I'm gonna leave mine on four. My encoder is on 264, since so I have a bit of an older computer, my graphics card is quite old. You see an option there for AMD or NVIDIA, you want to select those. They'll be a lot easier on your computer to run. Since my computer is kind of older, I'll use X264. Do not rescale output, it'll look bad. Going down to rate control, uh, I recommend a constant bitrate with a bitrate of 35,000. That'll all depend on your computer, so I recommend you know increase by 5,000, decrease by 5,000, and try and slowly find whatever point works best for you. Next up here is uh, CPU usage preset. I have mine on very fast by default, but you can change that to whatever you want. Um, the better your computer, the slower it should be. My computer is quite old, so I'm gonna leave mine on the default that is very fast. If your computer is very cheap or old, I would go up to super or ultra fast. But I'm gonna leave mine on very fast for now. Next up, you're gonna go to the audio tab. Make sure your audio bit rate is as high as you possibly can. So I'm gonna leave mine on 160. Next up is you wanna to go to the audio tab. So you want to change your sample uh, sample rate from 44.1 to 48 kilohertz. It's just higher quality. Channels, you can do mono or stereo. I usually just do mono. It, I don't really see a big need to use stereo. Next up, for your audio devices, make sure you have your right one selected. So here's the headset earphone, my Astro Mix Amp Pro. That's my default device. If you're not too sure what your default device is, go to the bottom right corner of your screen. Go to the speaker icon, right click, playback devices, and find whatever your default device is. So mine's my Astro Mix Amp Pro, so that's why it's selected. To figure out your microphone, make sure you go to the recording tab of your sound tab over here, and then find whatever your default device is. I'm using my Blue Yeti right here, so that's selected, and, uh, and you can find it from the drop down box. Now I'm gonna leave the other um, devices disabled because I just don't use them. Okay, so in the video tab, you wanna go to your resolutions, make sure that they're both at 1080p, 1920 by 1080 is for both. Set your downscale filter to the last one here called Lanzos. I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. And then for your FPS, if you want to record 1080p 60 frames, you want to put 60 frames under your FPS value here. Next up, you want to go to the advanced tab, go to your process priority. Make sure it's above normal or even high depending. Press basically means that uh, how much of your computer's performance is dedicated towards rendering your video and recording it live. So I usually recommend above normal at least. Depending on the game you're recording, maybe high is necessary, but it kind of depends on, on the uh, game you're playing. Like if it's very intensive or if it's just Minecraft. Next up here is you want to go to the renderer. Make sure the color format's NV12. Make sure the color space is actually expanded to 709 and it's the full versus the partial color range. You want the full range, it'll look much sharper. And that sums up how to record with OBS. These are the best settings for 1080p 60 frames. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, definitely drop a like right down below. It means the world to me. Subscribe for more tutorials with OBS, recording, and just overall making YouTube videos. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.